Welcome to Pep Talk with Bridget Kay. This hour is presented by Mainstay Financial and Annalee Leonard, who is responsible for the information and opinions expressed during the show. Hi, this is Financial Advisor of the Year, Jim Brogan of Knoxville, Tennessee. You're listening to Winning with my good friend and colleague, Annalee Leonard. You're listening to Winning with Annalee. Annalee is a retirement and estate planner, a member of the Ed Slot Master Elite IRA Advisor Group, as well as a sought-after speaker on such topics as income planning, 401k rollovers, and advanced IRA reduction strategies. When not working in her private practice, Annalee joins with other certified senior advisors to promote top-quality services to mature adults in the Pensacola area. Her goal is to help you prepare for and live comfortably in retirement. You can reach her office at 437-3127 or online at MainstayPensacola.com or call her now at 437-1620 on winning with Anna Lee. Everyone's a winner. Oh yeah. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Well, winning with Anna Lee. Anna Lee's not here. Know, we have Joan know, today. It's been a while. Here, so it's it's me, Joan. Medicare is my middle name, Connell. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I love uh, it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Winning with Anna Lee, everyone, to all of our loyal listeners. We love to know that you're out there listening to us. And again, my name is Joan Connell. I am here today. You all know why. Because Anna Lee is doing her presentation over at Sacred Heart Hospital. Um, so those of you who are listening to the show today probably weren't able to be at the presentation she's doing today oh, yeah. so yeah i know <laughs> we'll she's get a recap i'm sure i know we'll get a recap she'll talk about it she uh, actually is talking about a kind of a difficult topic i think but something that we all need to be aware of and uh she's talking about final expense planning mm. you know because that's uh, something that needs to be incorporated into our plans yeah both financially and um emotionally spiritually all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. so Anyway, that's what she's doing today, and uh, she sends her best, and she will be back here next week. Okay. So there you go. Mm -hmm. All right? I know it sounds depressing whenever she talks about it, but she's like, you have to plan and just do it. Just do it so you don't have to think about it again. Well, you know, it's amazing because Annalie can make any topic interesting, Mm -hmm. including that one. Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, she's just, you all know that from listening to her every week. Um, Anyway, so we're going to have a little bit of a different show today. And um, I have a couple of guests who are going to share the mic with us. And any of you uh, like us who are pet lovers will really appreciate today's show. You know, I don't know about you, but I would venture to say that most of us, including me, treat our pets like our children. I mean, they do. They become family members, maybe not always like children themselves, Although I can tell you, Annalie and everybody in the office and I talk about Beaujolais and Bella all mm-hmm, the time. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, we say they're like perpetual two-year-olds because <laughs> that's what they are. I mean, they always have to be looked after. You know, they, they grow up physically, but they never grow up any mm-hmm, other way. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, they, they're smart. They most of the time do what they're told, <laughs> you know. But uh, really, they're like two-year-olds because they have to be supervised and taken care of. So, you know, pets that belong or live in houses like we have are very, very lucky because they are cared for very well. But, you know, there's a lot of, lot of pets out there, cats and dogs especially, that don't have that opportunity to live a wonderful life in a, in a caring helpful environment that's going to keep them healthy. So today I asked, uh, and and this is an organization to which I belong as well, Um, it's 400 PAWS, 400 P-A-W-S, 400 PAWS. And this is an organization that was started several years ago by my guest with us today. Her name is Kim Cheney, and Kim has with her her social media coordinator, which is also her daughter. Okay, so Kim Cheney and Lauren Luttrell are with us today, and we're going to have a conversation about what do we do about the animals in our community to help them? How can we help them um, financially, uh, volunteer-wise, whatever we might be able to do? So Kim and Lauren are going to help us 
with some suggestions and how we can help them. But I want to welcome Kim and Lauren. Thank you okay. so much Good. for having Thank us you. today. Thank you. Good. See, Lauren, yes. it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Don't we we had a conversation before the show today, and Lauren said, "Oh my God, I'm I'm so nervous." And uh, Kim said the same thing that she was the first time she was here, and it's like any time we have a guest, mm -hmm. right, Bridget? Mm -hmm. It's like. 5 to 11 arrives, and they say, oh, are we finished? When can I come back? It goes you by know? so fast. That's what I tell. If you want time to go by fast, just, you know, have your own radio show. <laughs> your radio show, <laughs> that's right. Show. And you can blink, and it's <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I want to welcome you back, because I understand you were on a little vacay. I was on a little vacay. Visited my family in South Florida. Very good. Don't love the drive, but, you know, love Shut visiting. Um, love to be back. Whoa. How many miles is it? Um, over 600. It's Delray yeah. Beach, Florida. Oh, yeah. So you have to go over to the, that's the East Coast, right? It is, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciated the, um, when I came back, the white sandy beaches here because it's I not, it's, it's, it's a great place. Just not the same. Not the same, not the for same. sure. I know. Mm -hmm. I think people are always totally amazed when they come here for the mm -hmm. first time, mm -hmm. you know, because our beaches are so beautiful. And it's so, so it's such a hidden gem here. I mean, it's becoming more known throughout the state, but when I first moved here, people didn't you know, know about uh, Pensacola. Know. And I now know. more people, every time I visit, like, oh, yeah, I went up there, and they That's love right. it. But That's right. Just a side note. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing good things, you guys. <laughs> uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, all right. Well, so Kim and Lauren, let's talk about 400 Paws. I mean, I think the first thing I would like you to tell us is how did 400 Paws even get started? Well, the way it started, um, I was a member of Impact 100, and they are a wonderful organization, and um, I loved their concept. And one day I thought what, how it would be so great if we could have an organization like that um, just for animals that um, was geared toward all animal rescues and shelters in the surrounding counties. So um, we thought about it, and that's kind of how 400 Paul started. We are um, based, um, our members are, are a vital part of our organization mm -hmm. because if we don't have members, we don't have the money to be able to award the grants. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So we decided that we would start this organization. Um, it's $400 a year. Wh when did you start the organization? Um, in 2014. Okay, so this is its fifth year. Right. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're really trying hard this year to get 50 members and uh, so we'd have $20,000 because that's our vision to be able to give $20,000 in 2020. So um, so that's kind of where we're, we're going with it. And um, we've done a lot of good. There's so many rescues and shelters out there that need money. It's the most, um, the most needed thing that any shelter and rescue has is made. They can't help animals if there's no money. And they all have projects and things that they need the money for. So the members get to vote. And so they, you know, you got to, you're a part of a bigger thing. And that's what I liked about impact because you, you know, as an individual couldn't go in and maybe buy this or that for a certain organization, but you can be a part of something so much bigger. Yeah. So it's, it's the power of numbers and, and, uh, you know, right. people working together. Right. You know? So, um, so like, who are the members? I mean, I know that I'm a member. I know right. that. You are a uh, wonderful member. I have been, been a member for uh, several years. Yes, ma'am. And um, I, it's so funny because I know that you have some events that we'll talk about in a little mm -hmm. while. But the uh, the annual event you have where you have the award ceremony, uh, I was so pleased when I walked in this past time and I saw two of our clients from Mainstay. Who right. are also members, so you know I, I try to put the word out to our clients as yes, well. We appreciate that, um, that. You know this organization. So, so um, okay. He, this is a question that I have again. Is in 2014 you had this vision? How did you even go about starting it? I mean, how did you make it a reality? I'm the kind the of person hours? I I think of an idea and then just do it and kind of <laughs> figure out how it's going to happen so. later. Awesome. Okay. Um, All right. 
she texted me at midnight yeah. and said, hey, we're going to do this, and right. you're going to be a Is part that of it. Right. Okay, right. Cool. So she See? just says, okay. Uh, and uh, my mom's the same way. Yep, okay, I'll be here, whatever you need. <laughs> um, but we just decided to start it. Um, it took us about three or four months to, you know, get our um, – 501c3 mm -hmm. certification mm -hmm. and um and to get all the stuff worked out the membership how it was going to work and um you know we tweaked it a little bit through the years like adding the group membership that was something we just added last year so um but yeah we just kind of <laughs> said for let's it. do it and see what happens well now when you had this idea were you involved in any rescue groups at that point or you knew people who were or you know I actually started um, volunteering at the, the Humane Society when I was 12 years old. Uh, see, um, my there mom you go. and grandma used to go down there and volunteer, and of course, I went with them. And um, so, over the years, I've I've helped and volunteered. But I was on the board with the Pensacola Humane Society for a few years, doing uh -huh. fundraising for them. Mm -hmm. And um, I just kind of wanted to do something to kind of help because I saw in within fundraising you know money's needed and so many rescues out mm -hmm. there I started seeing and so that's why I did it okay mm -hmm. oh neat okay see I didn't know that I yeah. didn't know that yeah. do you know that I recently uh as a matter of fact next Thursday is my first meeting but I just got appointed to the board of the oh, Humane cool. Society oh cool yeah. that's great yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations thank you, thank you. yeah so they're I'm great over really, there really uh, looking forward to that you mm -hmm. know uh to, to be helping right my my only problem is um I'm going to be really honest. I'll, I'll help them financially, but I'm afraid if I go down to the shelter to volunteer with the animals. You're going to take some uh, home? I know. I mean, my heart just breaks, oh, you know? I know. So they come on the show. We have a segment for Ski Friday every Friday, and the Humane oh, Society comes on um, about once a month, once or twice a month, and they bring in animals every Friday. And I, it's really, really hard to yeah. let them walk out the yeah. door. One with home. The, oh, yeah. And oh my gosh, it's just every time I have to have an emotional battle. Like, I know. It, it, not for you I today. Know. Not for you today. I know. It's, it's really true. But, you know, the one thing we know is that they're very well cared for down there. And, right. Um, and have been making great strides. Oh, yes. Great strides in adoptions and no uh, uh, no kill in the uh, uh, Escambia County shelter. Right. I know the friends of Escambia County are just doing great. Yeah. And, you know, once you get kind of involved and, and become a member, you kind of see all the different rescues that you might not even known that existed. And uh, there's so many. Oh. And they're all so wonderful. And I can just tell do you so that much. because any of our listeners out there that, that, you know, would like to help in some way, um, when I first became involved with 400 Paws, and I really forget how I found out about it. I really don't mm -hmm. remember. But um, w when, I, when I went to the, a couple of the meetings where the rescue groups talk, uh, it, it's amazing all of the rescue groups that are out there, mm -hmm. all the different kinds, and what these people are doing to help these animals. You know, um, uh, very often out of their own pocket. Right. Oh, and a lot yeah. of times. Right. And, and I think that's why uh, we struggle a little bit with membership because everybody that loves animals that would be a member probably spend a lot of their own money, you know, helping certain rescue or, you know, which mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't care as long as you can help and you're helping. Right. right. But um, so right. I think a lot of that is... Well, I, th I think on top of the financial help that you uh, that the membership provides to the rescue groups, the just the knowledge that you learn oh, by yes. being a member is yes. very, very beneficial. Yes. Very beneficial, I right. think. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, let me let me ask you a couple of other questions here. Let me see. Um, oh, <sighs> what area do you cover? I mean, is it just Escambia County? Um, with our grants, we cover um, Escambia, Santa Rosa, Okaloosa, and Walton. Oh, wow. Yeah. And okay. my goal one day when we get big enough, it would be to expand to have a, like an Alabama chapter. I would love to do that mm -hmm. because there are some shelters in like Bruton and um, and Bay Manette, Bay, um, those counties mm -hmm. up there that just really need help need as well. Help, so, huh? yeah, um, wow. I'd love to be able to expand even further, but focusing on this one right now and getting it built well good good that's great um when we talk about the the groups the rescue groups what are some of the rescue groups that have benefited from the 400 paws organization okay there's been s 
we've had 12 so far that we've been able to give grants to. Um, one of the ones that you might not think that would come to your mind right away is the panhandle um equine rescue Mm. yeah see because what do we do we think really of dogs and cats don't we and um they've won two of our grants the first one um that they won was our very first year um they built a hay barn so because hay is um, and i didn't know this so it's something i learned that hay is less expensive certain times of the year and they were having to just buy little bits along the way so, so it doesn't go bad right, or they right, use it up and what yeah. right mm-hmm. so they were able to buy a bulk of hay and store in the barn so that helped them financially oh wow and Great. then this last year they won again and um, they actually are going to just purchase hay because they have an unbelievable amount of horses in rescue right now and and in foster homes it's unbelievable how many i wish i could remember what she said but it it's a lot so um if you need do a they, horse do they have a place where they have like a, a horse rescue area um, or are they mo- mainly fostered they do have a place um up in cantonment uh-huh. and um i do believe they have some there um a lot of them are in fosters uh, people have you know barns or whatnot mm-hmm. up in molino area and stuff and they will take some i'm trying to convince my husband i know he's listening right now <laughs> um, <laughs> that we so need to foster some horses so i quite well, you have the property in the barn we have the property oh we well, the barn, barn. <laughs> but i mean we're halfway there so oh, see, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now he can't say what, no what's, I what, know. what's, what's your husband's spot. name i forget john 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, John. It's out in the public now. There you go. You have to ho- you have to get a horse to foster. Okay. But uh, we've also had friends of Scamby County has won a couple of um, of awards. Um, they did a heartworm sponsorship one time. I know a lot of animals that are in the shelters are heartworm positive, and um, there sometimes it's hard for them to be adopted because it's expensive. Mm-hmm. So that we were able to partner with them and. Um, do some sponsorships to help those dogs get adopted when you say friends is that friends of the friends of Scambia Scambia county yes uh, yeah yes. okay are they the ones yeah. that work primarily at the animal shelter yes the, uh, for the county yes okay. they um they they uh, formed a group that kind of and it's a rescue they go in um you know kind of help pull and like the, get the adoptable animals and the ones right. that are very needy medically oh, oh okay for oh, instance wow. the one that just came in this past weekend and he had been cut open <gasps> there his name is slash and oh. i mean it was not a good situation oh, and they were gosh. asking for donations because he, his vet bills were already at like two thousand sure. dollars so. oh wow what kind of dog was he do you know it was um I want like a little bulldog like maybe. a bulldog mix oh yeah. my god oh. and they don't really know what happened to him yeah. they're on he's on their facebook page they posted a picture of him oh but wow it was that's kind of what they do from what i know i mean they help all the animals at the shelter but yes. i think they focus yeah. mainly on like the ones that really need a little extra help mm-hmm. and then they foster i know a lot of kittens they did kitten yoga at our building right yeah that Aww. was fun they yeah. foster yeah. a lot of yoga? kittens kitten yes. yoga so you could come do yoga with and, kittens and one um, actually yeah. crawled in my shirt it was very <laughs> awkward i was like okay, oh my hello. gosh wow. you just so. had that event up at your location um, yes ma'am yes they had it um a couple weekends ago it was on a sunday they did it and um yeah did kittens fun. get adopted um, I don't. They brought some to be adopted, but I don't think any got adopted. Oh, okay. I'm not okay. sure that. And then right. a lot of the little Maybe ones later. that were, yeah, a lot of the ones that were in the in the yoga session, they got sent on their um, animals with a draw. Their pro- where they send animals to Providence. To, oh, Provi- uh, Providence, Rhode, Rhode Island. I believe so. Oh, yeah. wow. Rescue there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, we have a phone call. We have Suzanne from Pensacola and she has a question about membership. So Suzanne, welcome to Winning with Annalie. Good. How are you? Hi Suzanne. Great. What's your question? Hi. The question is, can you give us a phone number or something where we can call and uh, become members? Uh, and uh, also what uh, you informed us is the fact that you keep all these pets alive, you know? Unfortunately, the shelters have a bad reputation where they have to use euphemize the, you know, pets. So that's so sad. The third question I want to ask, too, is do you help the homeless with their pets? Oh, okay. Well, that, that's uh, that'll keep us busy for a couple of minutes <laughs> for sure. First of all, to become a member. Right. Okay. My number is um eight five zero three eight zero zero five four seven. 
Um, you can also check out our website. It's uh, 400paws.org. has a lot of information on there. Um, and the shelters, uh, they're, they're kind of getting a little bit of a bad rap about euthanizing animals. They are working so hard to mm-hmm. get to the point not to be able to. But until people um, start spaying and neutering their pets, mm-hmm. it is going to be a problem. So I have to commend the shelters. They are, they are really working hard at that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the third question, do we help the homeless? We actually just started uh, a food pantry, and um, it's for Scambia County residents. And if you, we do it on the fourth Sunday of every month from 1 to 3. You can come out to our location at 1147 Creighton Road, and we can provide, um, you do need to bring some documentation. So if it's a, something that you feel like you um, would benefit from, then just, just let us know, call or email. You can also go to our Facebook page and um, there's, there's an event set up for that. Um, so you can kind of see what time and date in case you forget. But um, we can help with, with providing food for your pets. So that's kind of one way that we're starting to help and um, we just got a location to be able to do that. And so we're, we're hoping to be able to expand that at, at a future time with other, you know, resources. Good. Well, good. Thank Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. Wonderful. We are excited. Thank you so much. Good. And, and, you know, um, when we talk about membership, um, you know, of course it's, it's called, 400 paws because right. it's a $400 Dollars. membership right. donation. It's really a donation right. mm-hmm. to yes. become a member. Right. I mean, it's right. like impact 100. Exactly. Um, so that, that $400 just goes directly towards, uh, the grant money that right. then gets awarded to the people who apply. 100% yeah. goes to it. We do not take out any of the membership money for any expenses. Mm-hmm. We try to cover them through other donations or usually sometimes it's just out right. of the pocket. So, we um because we want the full amount to go and um can you become a member by going to the website and or do do you have to call to because um, i know you can pay by credit card can't you right you can do that it's, um, there's a little bit of an extra fee i think if well, you use a credit card we just started we just added the facebook donate button they just kind of revamped all that so ah. you can actually go on there and they, it's not an extra fee oh good um, but you have to call and let me know that's what it's for because it just shows up like i'll know if it's four hundred dollars what yes. it was for but if yeah. you're making payments because we do accept payments oh, yeah. um, if you want to do fifty dollars you know here and there and a hundred or whatever I won't know that's what it's for. Yes. So, so you, you got to call. Yeah, kind of you know. let me know, and then hey, I can be. Hey, this is what I did at, on the Facebook page. Right. Okay. Right. Um, but yeah, we have the membership forms. We can email you, and um, so yeah, just um, let us know. We can. Oh, good. Be happy to. Good. 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 Happy to get those. That's, members. that's great. One new, one new member. Maybe we'll get another hey, two members in the next hour. Know. That yeah. would be that's great. That's amazing. That's right. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have a member. <laughs> no, seriously. Yay. But yeah, if yeah. you do ding, have ding, ding, any ding. <laughs> uh, questions or comments, you can always give us a call at 850-437-1620. <laughs> mm-hmm. We love hearing from our listeners and mm-hmm. conversation and, with and them. And, you know, uh, people might say, well, you know, how come this financial show is having... 400 paws on you know mm-hmm. well first of all it's a charitable donation now for tax purposes you know I, I don't do any kind of tax advising but um you know sometimes charitable donations if you itemize your taxes can help okay um with the tax changes though sometimes it's difficult to itemize now because the standard deduction has increased so much but still if that's a question you have you know you can talk to gwen gore in our office uh who gwen who uh is has an office in our building and she is a a tax advisor okay so you can call us at 437-3127 and uh just in case you've got that kind of question so and of course annalee can always talk about uh anything related to your finances especially when it comes to donations you know so uh that's why and and the other thing is you know when when animals are left and abused 
that affects the whole community. So, you know, we're trying to make this community better mm-hmm. in many ways. So and I think Pensacola yeah. is such a special place and such a special community because we all are a part of, you know, multiple organizations mm-hmm. that do good. And we love to give back to our home here in Pensacola, That's just right. like you and Anna Lee and you both just the work you're doing, just being inspired and actually going out there and doing it and, and mm-hmm. making moves. It's something that is different about this community versus other places that have been. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. So. So I guess as we're talking about community, it's probably going to be, is it going to be time to find out what's happening in the community? In a little bit, and we can only hope for some good news, but you know, there's so much going on that maybe the only weather is the good news. That's just just what I was going to (laughs) say. That it's nice out and it's not going to be raining But you know what? You know what? Um, It's going to be hot. I mean, hot. Yeah, I could do the weather. It's going to be hot. Exactly. (laughs) Well, you're hired, Joan. (laughs) Now it's time to go go. over to Mark for some news. Oh, gee, you just did my job. (laughs) Now back to the Pensacola Expert Panel with Bridget Kay on News Radio 92.3 AM 1620. All I do is win. I love it. It's a theme song. I'm telling you, every time you and Anna Lee walk into the office, you need to be playing that behind you. Just they'll know. It'll be a sensor. I know. I don't know. I I think years ago, and and you know, Anna Lee's been doing the show here at 1620. It's either five or six years Mm -hmm. now. I can't, I, I don't remember if it's five or six. It's at least five. And um, I think that Wendy back then picked that song out. I don't know how they did it. That's a total I Wendy know. move. Uh, it is I'm a telling Wendy you. Move. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, you know. It's great. I love it. <laughs> so anyway. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, if you have any questions today, our guests um, are Kim Cheney and Lauren Luttrell from 400 Paws, the organization that uh, helps to support rescue groups here in our area through membership donations and we if we're just so excited to have them to clarify a lot of questions about 400 paws and help you understand how you can become a member and how you can help the various rescue groups so (coughs) excuse me uh during the break we were oh i think a bug just got on my head i don't know what that was okay (laughs) are you okay something just walked on my head Uh, okay uh (laughs) excuse me okay um Anyway, before the, uh, during the break, we were talking again about s- some of the things that 400 Paws has been able to do over the years. And before we get to that point, if you have any questions about what our topic is today or any comments, please, or want to join, become a member of 400 Paws, call us here at the station, 437-1620. Mm-hmm. Four three seven sixteen twenty. You know, no, you nailed it. it. I did. Okay, God, yes. I always get you those got mixed it. up. Yeah, you know. because you have. Yeah, I know. The yeah, other right. number is four three seven two. Oh, jeez. Four three seven sixteen twenty. Call or text us. We would love to hear from you. And um, if you've had any um, h- happy stories with some of the rescue groups, please let us know that too. We'd love to have you share that with us. Um, the thing I want to make sure that we clarify is. How does someone become a member, and what does it cost? Let's review that again. Okay, to become a member, um, you can go onto our website, and um, there's lots of information, or you can call me at 850-380-0547 or email us at kim at 400paws.org. It's $400 for a membership, and that gets you voting. You can vote for the um, shelters and rescues that apply for the grants, we have group memberships if you want to go in yeah, together. that's what I love. Let's talk about that because yeah, a lot of people might be interested in that. Right. If you uh, maybe want to say you want to get together with another person and each do $200, that would be you get one, you know, one voting ballot, but um, you get to, you can be still be a member <coughs> um, or you can do a four group member for $100 each mm-hmm. and, um, you know, get together and... Um, you well, that would be good because, you know, you could come to the... Um, uh, y- you would get your one vote, but the four of you could get together and review the materials that have been submitted from the rescue organizations. Right. And and then 
submit a vote exactly we just added the group memberships a couple years ago Mm -hmm. so that it's been beneficial and i think it helps and um so yeah we're excited about it that's great that's great because i'm sorry go ahead Bridget. how often um do you guys meet as an organization we usually um now that we have the building and we're having more events um (laughs) we're gonna we kind of meet We do a lot of meetings over the phone, Mm kind of talking about, you know, what we're going to do or what's next. Mm -hmm. Um, But usually just as a now as with the members, you mean Mm -hmm. or with the members? Okay, the members we try to do or in fact, we're having a membership mingle um, this Thursday. Mm -hmm. Um, My daughter come up with the amazing, great concept to kind of play off of um, Cinco de Mayo, even though it's passed, it's still in (laughs) May, um, but we're going to do like a big nacho bar and everything so people can come out, learn about it, or if you're a member, you want to come, just visit with us, that's great. And what would be great if you were a member, bring someone who exactly right. like to there's join. actually a mom and a daughter that are coming thursday that are going to become <coughs> a group member of two two hundred dollars each so oh well, perfect so that's yeah. great yeah. see so that's that's a but, great um, idea we kind of named it let's talk about 400 paul so <laughs> uh <laughs> for <laughs> nacho taco well see that's food. that's because you know have your amazing social media i know i know she comes Who up with some Lauren, great ideas way. and great <coughs> themes so i'm lucky to have her well i do have it? to t- yeah where I, is it oh, it's going to be at 11:47 creighton road which is by the way next to mathis lighting right the, right. the big building right next to mathis lighting and right. i can tell you when we used to have the meetings right at Mathis, right. I mean, we were jammed into that little tiny room. Right. I mean, it, it was nice, but it was it the right. new place is <laughs> awesome. And it got hot, and, <laughs> yeah. um, and, some and fans going. we um, that that <laughs> right. a building finally became vacant in February when we had our um, meet and greet because we do that um, as a member. You get to come to the meet and greet and meet the um, applicants before you vote. And then, um, then we have the awards a month later. But in February, we were like, I think we might move next door. And then, <laughs> yeah, we were busy but for a couple week weeks we painting, painting <laughs> and well, cleaning. When, when you all, when when our listeners who choose to go to the membership mingle on Thursday, and what time right. does it start? It starts at five thirty. Five thirty. Okay. It goes to eight. Door prizes and all that start at about seven. So it's good to kind of be there at that time but yeah. you can come as early as 5 30 and stay okay. as late as 8 well wh- if, uh, with those of you who go to this meeting and unfortunately i'm going to be in our mobile location this coming week starting s- this afternoon but uh the the building is awesome and the Thank way you, you all decorated it and and finished it and it's just incredible yeah i mean i was so so excited we were excited we wanted it to <coughs> be a place that the rescues and shelters could use for you know like the kitten yoga or that they've done some tnr classes which is trap neuter return um they also had a kitten class like bottle feeding kittens they had a class that was that was so a lot of the different rescues and places have done some events (coughs) there so that's what we wanted for them to have something to have meetings or whatnot mm-hmm. and that is great because um, because before that they had really no place where they, they could probably the do that and stuff yeah right. yeah, yeah. And, um, oh, this and then is to wonderful. have indoor adoption events during the summer because the summer is so hot there's yeah. not many places to have indoor events so we're that's why we're going to try to do adoption events once a month and um we have space for about 13 to 14 separate um rescues we have wow. a separate room for the cats so they don't get stressed out by all the dogs <laughs> <laughs> we have a separate little meet and greet room so you can meet with your potential um oh, wow. uh, you know a pet so yeah it's, it's gonna be good i think it's gonna really open doors oh i think it will too. help i think it will too just having the signage on creighton road right is great right because you know, people could go by there and say whoa what is that what what you is know? that i yeah. thought what, so what is 400 paul's so greater yeah. awareness yeah, yeah greater awareness so take us through the timeline for your membership drive and then what happens when when does the membership drive start and okay end? um it starts it runs from january to december so like all of this year we are raising money for the next year's grant okay um and f- um you uh, november by november 30th we require re- shelters or rescues to send in their letter of intent so we know that they're going to apply for the grant mm-hmm. then their um their grant is um oh then they start their membership you know then they start their application i'm sorry i'm getting mm-hmm. a little off track yeah. here mm-hmm. um so yeah so like uh, they can start applying like 
by January. Right. They January. start applying. And then the um, right. deadline for that is February 6th. Okay. And then we have um, the <coughs> voting begins. What we do is we have the meet and greet. Well, you have the meet and greet before the voting, right? Right, right, yes. And the meet and greet, yes. That the first time I ever went to that, I was just blown away. Yeah. It, it really, Bridget, if, mm. if you ever want to go to that, Absolutely. I mean, it is unbelievable to to hear yes and anybody can come groups. yeah yeah you I don't mean, have to be a member you anybody can yeah. come okay but um yeah the members i mean mm-hmm. the, they talk about what they're applying for so the <laughs> members get, and then it makes it kind of harder sometimes because you're you like oh, face with right the actual it gets yes. personal you know yeah. and mm-hmm. um so we do that and then um the members get their voting ballots and then they vote and then um, march 1st is the voting deadline and then usually around mid-march on a thursday we will do the um actual award ceremony is awesome. that when people at the ceremony mm-hmm. is that when the rescue groups learn that they have yes won? they don't find they, out ahead nope, of time they do not it's yeah. a total surprise yeah, so that so is the exciting. best most fun time to be able to give those checks and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah i kind of yeah. cry <laughs> the ones that don't win and i'm I happy know. for the ones that do and and so that's why we want it the more members we have the more you know, we, I think we had 11 applicants last time, and we were able to give three. You know, it would have been great. Of maybe what? Th- three? Three, three um, grants. Three of 3,000? Um, I forget what the yes, grants Yes, they were 3,000 yeah. each. Just so now. does that mean then that, let's see, that was $9,000? Right. So how many members is that? I'm so confused. Um, it was around 20. Like yeah. 20 so i okay. we were a, we were a couple of short and what we do because we have like what we call a free friends fund if people donate just you know want to donate a little bit of money or whatnot we put that in a separate fund and we took six hundred dollars out of that fund and to put it, it towards to even it out Good. make it even Good. yeah yeah so um yeah that's why we're yeah. shooting for 50 members this year so we can maybe do maybe like five grants of four or four or five just depends on like how many App, you know how many applicants are going to apply so yes, you kind of go right, by that and how many members you've got so right it's all a matter right. of Numbers, mathematics yes. basically when it yeah okay very good and then of course um the that that so those of us who have joined between december uh, uh, january 1st and december this year right we're members for 2020 or 2020 uh, 2019 or 2020 well, 2019 your members for 2019 but we don't give the money till 2020 got it so okay then so like that's why we want how many members do we want this year 50 50 okay yes. we can 50. do it yes we i know we're halfway we're halfway that's right so and then we got half the year left so okay i, I know we can do it okay good yeah. good well this is a perfect time to have been on this show because right exactly we still have a number of months left right and Will you be having other member mingles during the year, you think? another? We will. Um, we're hoping to do one in July, maybe August. We're still kind of looking at some dates. And then um, we usually try to have one maybe again in October. Okay. Good. Um, so that that's usually a good one. Very we good. always have to do it however she picks the theme. However Lauren picks the theme, that's <laughs> the month we you have to do it. Theme. It's, it's got to have a theme. You have to be on theme. You can do a right. Halloween one for like well, Halloween, right. like a costume contest. Yeah, yeah I mean, there you go. Gotta, you Any reason right. to dress up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lauren, I have got to tell you, you have done a, a fantastic job with the website and Thank with you. the Facebook Thank page. You. Seriously. Um, you know, it's that's such a hard thing. You know, KC in our office takes care of that for us and uh you've got to have somebody who really focuses on that who who even knows what they're doing right I mean, you know we're I'll still, still learning, learning but, you know. <laughs> i know anyone I still can don't say they do to totally post on my facebook page you know or if i post something it's like oh my gosh i didn't want to post that how do i get it back well <laughs> more, you know too late now but, uh, <laughs> I know she always tells me, my, if you delete something, it's gone forever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll save everything. But no, no, you've done a, a, a nice you. a nice job with that, and I love seeing the pictures that you post. Yes, ma'am. I try to post a lot of pictures because I feel like pictures, that, it shows people what we do more so than a, than a word. That's you know? exactly right. Exactly right. Kim, tell us, uh, give us some examples of how uh, these bent, these. Uh, uh, applicants from the rescue groups have been helped by getting a grant okay well we talked about the equine rescue mm-hmm. um, and then we were talking about friends earlier and and then we we kind of stopped they um, did a transport it's been a couple years ago 120 dogs it 
I did not know this, but up north, they don't have the huge problem like we do yeah. here with overpopulation mm-hmm. of animals. So um, they were able to transport 120 dogs. Wow. I love their program. It's called Dogs with the Drawl because, you know, we're Southern Drawl. Yeah. Uh, I love, love, love that. Um, they have a lot of different programs. I know we kind of were touching base on the Friends of Escambia County, but they do. You can go to their website. They have several different projects that they're doing to help the shelter. I know we were mm-hmm. talking about that. Mm-hmm. Um socks down in um fort walton oh save um, our cats and kittens yes i love that name they are working socks. on a comp- i know isn't that cute <laughs> they are working on a um a cat room enrichment center and a catio so a catio, we were yes. able to help they with some of that catio. we actually went down there and saw it's starting to be built oh is it and um it was it was amazing oh wow that's good that's good um, that's great amazing grace bully rescue oh. paula she's um she she does a lot. I don't know how she does it. She's um, amazing. But um, she won one year and was able to um, provide heartworm treatments. A lot of the bullies come in with heartworm. You know, people just mm. they got them chained in the backyard. Yeah, there don't you care. go. Yeah. And um, so she's she's done great. Um, my wow. safe place rescue pet rescue down in Crestview. Um, they won. They um did some upgrades to their facility and vetting i know do they do dogs or cats um they're cats cats okay Mm -hmm. i know vetting is a big and them there i think every rescue probably has a bill at the at the vet's office you know (laughs) oh i have it trying to trying to so that's um yeah and then one of the one of the newest ones two of them that one um the Northwest Florida Great Dane Rescue just won this last year. Awesome! Oh, wow. um, they need a boarding facility um, that because they'll get a call like they need to go rescue a dog or get you know get a dog, and it's hard to just find somebody that can just take in a Great Dane. It's not like a little Chihuahua, like, okay. you know. Yeah, that's I know, right. it, you know. So you got to have room. So they're going <laughs> to be able to build this boarding facility. Um, they put, some, of course, they have some other monies that yes, they're they're right, getting for right. that, but um, ours were a part of it that they can. Um, be able to have a place that they can bring the dog evaluate him you know get him ready and find the proper foster for him to go to until they can you know find him a forever home wow. because a lot of the great danes have like maybe they haven't been they've been abused a little bit and they have like some psychological issues yes. and they don't need to be with certain right like they can't be with cats or they right. can't be with small you children you have to kind of so check their temp yeah. you know yeah, the temperament and what's going right. on with them yes and a lot yeah. of people great danes are um you have to be careful with them you know they're they're big and um <laughs> yeah they have a lot of you know special needs yeah special medical needs and things oh, sometimes so you wow. know they have to do that um and then um the rescue rescuers they are docks and rescue that won this year um for some vetting a lot of little dachshunds that come in have really bad back problems and uh, if you've if you're ever ever one of the adoption events and and they're going to be there you have to come visit beaker <laughs> he oh, is a little dog oh my gosh he is he doesn't have his own facebook page beaker strong oh he really is yeah. adorable little dachshund and um he's, he's kind he's, of the unofficial mascot right of the rescued rescuers. right he's kind of their mascot <laughs> so um and he's he has a home and all but he um he always comes to the event now he's what makes him so special he had an oh goodness I, I don't know exactly what it was um but i know he has an issue with his leg he has kind of like a little sling on his leg oh. and so he um but i think he just had a lot of bad experiences in his former home and mm-hmm. um so mm-hmm. he needed a lot of help and a lot of the dachshunds come in with little wheels and yeah. they're just so cute yeah they, they, they have, have a lot wheels. of them have little because of their back <laughs> issues and things they have issues like little like cases, little wheelchairs yeah. and, oh, and God. um so there's there's been a lot hotel for dogs or cats on creighton road they um were able to put some permanent cages in it's just there's there's been a lot of different ones see and that's what's so amazing so to me many. because all of these small groups i, I mean s- they're, they're they're small rescues basically when you think about it as compared to the humane society or the animal shelters but um th- they have to they have to kind of scrape and whatever to put the money together so right. i mean three thousand dollars from our group is like an awesome amount of money right. for them 
you know we but, always uh, wished it could be more but every little bit helps yes you yeah. know and it's like one thing they can do that and maybe can focus on something else mm-hmm. and not have to worry about and I bet a lot of that money, a lot of the other money comes out of their pockets as well. Oh, yes, yeah. you know it. Mm-hmm. You That's know right, it. you know, because they have such, people who rescue animals have right. such gigantic hearts. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. mean, you have to have a, a big heart to have, have an to animal passionate. anyway. Yeah. To take care of the animal in the way it needs to be taken care of. But, um, you know, to be a rescue group like that. Right. Um, I, I just remember being so impressed the first time I ever went to, the, to mm. their presentation meeting you know when they were presenting their needs and um you know uh, emerald coast wildlife out in right um, oh uh, yeah Fort walton right you know, was one of them and then the uh the the bully amazing grace right bully rescue i mean yeah. it's me and and socks i just love socks that's so, so yeah. cute <laughs> <laughs> so so see and that's the thing you can help uh, several of these organizations by becoming a member of 400 paws and it helps you because the 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 group at uh, 400 Paws does the selection based on the applications that come in. Right. So you know, I mean, it's you have a part in it. Right. Yeah. You get you to kind of choose. Like I said, choose. it makes yeah. it hard on the members to. It does. So you get, you know who do you want to pick them all? I know. I know. Uh, you just but, um, believe me, I understand yeah, when you read yeah. those grant proposals. So yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so again. 400paws.org, a 501c corporation here in Florida. Your uh, membership fee is $400 for the year. Gives you a vote as to who you would like to award a grant to. And uh, remember, you can do a group membership. I think that's just an awesome thing. So, you know, four of you get together, $100 each. That's very doable. Um, And it, it really, really helps those people out there who are trying to make a better life for the animals that they rescue. And I guess, you know, the last thing I have to say is, uh, you know, if you have a pet, treat the pet the way it needs to be treated, you know. Don't abuse it. Make sure it has food and water. Don't keep it chained in the backyard. You wouldn't want to be chained in your backyard. Why would you do that with your dog? Don't leave it in your car. Don't leave it in your car. If Mm -hmm. you don't want your dog at the beach, then don't bring it to the beach. Then leave it in your car. I know. I know it's you know some of it is just such common sense but some people just um you know yeah. don't think about that you know so so yeah. membership mingle this Thursday yes ma'am. at um on Creighton Road in the 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 400 paws building right next to Mathis Lighting right all right hopefully you're going to have a, a good show I hope so and uh we thank the uh one member who said yes she definitely thank you, thank you. Absolutely. that's right thank you. that's Absolutely. wonderful thank you so much thank y'all so much for and having it's us really really great well you are more than welcome it's always a delight to have you and to uh promote the group and hopefully generate more memberships okay so thank you again for being here thank okay. you so we'll take the next uh, minute just to mention that um Anna Lee will be doing her financial survival class uh, again in Milton in June. So we're not going to give you that date yet. I, uh, it's a little too soon yet, but we'll be announcing that uh, when she gets back next week. So if you're interested in that, the Milton campus in June. I'll be doing Medicare again uh, sometime in June, I think, on the, Medi- on the Milton campus too. So, But we'll keep you posted on that, okay? Um, I think that really kind of wraps up mm-hmm. what we need to do today. I, I think we have do a need to ask you a question. Yeah. yeah, how was your Power of E3 event? Because I didn't get to ask Anna oh Lee because she goodness. was out of town, and then she was as a guest. That's and great. I was just I was That's thinking great. of you guys on April 27th. Oh, and Power of E3, April 27th. It was our sixth annual, and it was just awesome. Uh, we had about um, I think 60 or 70 ladies attend, and uh, we had a wonderful, delightful talk by Dr. Phillips, mm-hmm. who is a dermatologist, and um, we're not exactly sure how much money we raised yet, because I'm the treasurer, and I haven't figured it out, <laughs> okay? So, um, get on I, it! I, I, yeah, no, no, get on it, that's right, that's right. So, uh, Annalie will have that figure for you next week. Okay, okay. amazing. I'm yeah. so looking forward yeah, to so it, because I know we were a part of it, um, in promoting it, and mm-hmm. it just sounded like such a unique yeah. Um, yeah. event. And again, E3 is the... Uh, uh, Nonprofit that we founded that is to educate, enlighten, and empower women 55 and over. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so it's great. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's a, a very benefit of the organization 
the funds we raise benefit the uh, women in need of health care. Oh, wow, okay? that's great. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that's at, great. Uh, through Sacred Heart Foundation. So there you go. Um, anything else we need to talk Why about? Why don't what we do give think? people the number one more time for 400 Paws, um, oh. just in case they want more information. Yes. Okay, 850-380-0547, or you can email Kim at 400paws.org. Kim at 400paws.org. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening today. Join 400 Paws and be back with us next week when Annalie is with you again. Have a great day. Be kind to each other, and we'll be back next week.